Well, there was this one time where my hands were both on the sink. And after that cold shower, boy, our skins were feeding from each other's warmth. We were so intact. I could feel him. He was hard. So hard. He reached for my neck. And there was something about how he was grabbing it. He made me feel like... Like I was at his mercy. Even though I always am in control of my total self. My hair was perfectly wet from the shower. It was all over my face. And I hated that. But... He told me to focus on the mirror. I saw it. Our complexion. It was so in sync. It felt unreal. We were body to body. And his eyes commanded my respect. But he just couldn't hide the fire that he felt within I could see that he was burning, grabbing a hold of his lust. He was too much. I just had to give in. Was that your first sexual encounter with him like? I calmly asked as I turned to her. She was securely tied to the chair with thick ropes. There's no way she was escaping. She was partly bruised on the face, the legs, the hands. Blood was just simply on different parts of her body. Please let me go. I swear I I won't I won't ever get close to him again. Please just just let me go. <laughs> you know, nothing you say makes sense at the moment. You're very funny. <laughs> Maybe your memory is lost. Allow me to refresh it a little bit. I took out my phone and scrolled through the screenshots a little bit. Uh huh. Uh Uh-huh. I walked to her. There it is. I heard the phone before her face. Is that or is that not your hand on my man's chest? (laughs) It's mine. She replied, crying and facing the floor. Well... At least you got more balls than you ever could, right, Don? I turned to look at him. I had tied him just like I had her, opposite to where she was, so they could look at each other as I stood between them. I must say, lady, you are even more of a man than he ever will be because... I showed him this picture once and he denied it, strongly. (laughs) Did he tell you of the nights where he kept me waiting for him, only for him to never show up? In his, um, I mean, in our household? Wait, 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 of course you knew, (laughs) you were, you were with him, you were... Practically the reason why he never came home. And the funny thing is, you still think you have it all, despite the fact that you clearly know how you got him. See, I don't blame you. When I started seeing him, it was all flowers too. 
until I came to learn that there's always a huge pile of dirt buried at some corner of the house. He was a dirty soul that needed extreme cleansing. Had it been any other woman, I dare say she would have given up and walked away. I mean, I've met with plenty who did before me and with me. But I knew I wanted him, and so I stayed. I endured the countless of needles that he pierced me with because I loved him. I withstood him, pushing me away. <sighs> Even in his time of great need, I forged and forced my way into his life even when he placed me in probabilities with other contestants i still fought hard to show him why he had to pick me until he did of course we expect commitment We expect commitments from the people we date, but when you think about it, they're not obliged to give us that because after all, they're just searching for the right partner, right? We aren't necessarily the chosen ones, so we have no right to actually demand or complain about anything. So that is why I took all the ill treatment in for the ultimate prize. Him. Him forever next to me. I made sure I got rid of all the cheating and the lies and the irresponsibility and the drinking and, and everything negative that I would never want in a husband that existed before me. And then I took him for myself, as did he. And it all went well until that business trip to Bali. You came into the picture, and you, my darling, I would pity, but you were just as bad as him, because I remember how much shame it brought me approaching you the other day i followed you and told you exactly who i am i didn't want to blame you because i mean we all know how deceiving men can be i chose to treat you as the victim just like many women out there are i chose to believe you instead of him i begged you to leave my husband alone what did you do you caused chaos in my life you abused me in front of all those people and you called him right in front of me to schedule yet another appointment with him that very night i turned to my husband don how come you never took me to fancy getaways huh <laughs> You see, lady, women like you are monsters. Because you you fucking kill your fellow kind. You, you know how hard it is to be a wife and a mother. To be a woman. There is so much that you need to do. But on top of that, you put that heavy load on me. I not only have to worry about my marriage... But now I also have to worry about some other woman stealing from me the one thing that I value the most in my life. You took everything that I built for years. You took it all in a snap. And I'm not going to let that go easy because I already gave you too many chances to repent. With no hesitation, I took out my gun. And as I watched her beg for her life, I shot her on the head. Straight after that, 
My phone rang. I picked it up. Hello, sweetie. Mommy? When are you coming home? Mommy's going to be home very soon, baby. I'm just grabbing you a few goodies, okay? Yay! Will dad come with you? Mm, I don't think so, sweetie. I said as I took my gun and pointed it at my husband. Daddy's traveling to a very, very far away place. He won't be able to return anytime soon. But mommy's gonna be home with you and we'll wait for daddy together, okay? Okay, mommy. Good. See you soon, sweetie. Mwah. I hung up. And without any further hesitation, I pulled the trigger. <laughs>